Hi, my name's Doug. Me and my fiance, Emmy, have been RVing since 2019. Despite doing tons of research before we ended up buying our trailer and most of our equipment, we made some mistakes. So today we're gonna to be making a video about wheel chocks, the mistakes we made, and the gear that we eventually settled on in hopes to save some frustration, money, and to do a little demystifying for anybody out there who's willing to listen. So let's go down here. I'm gonna show you what a wheel chalk is and talk about why they're so important. <sighs> This is a wheel chalk. This is one of the least expensive pieces of equipment that you're gonna buy for your RV, but also one of the most important. They're the first things that you set up when you're getting to a campsite and the last thing that you take care of when you leave. Because it's so important to prevent- Holy sh All right, so that may have been a little dramatic, but I promise you that there have been multiple incidences within the history of RVing of people not chalking their wheels properly, unhitching their trailer, and then having it roll down a hill, maybe hit a tree, or maybe just slipping and twisting so that it falls off of wherever they've propped up their front jack. Any of these are really dangerous and it only takes a few seconds to properly chalk your wheels. It is the first thing that we do when we find our campsite and we know exactly where we're gonna put our trailer because it can reach all the hookups if they're available. And it's the last thing that we undo after we've already hitched up and are ready to make way. So today our plan is to save you, someone who's getting into RVing, some time and money by going over three different types of chalks and we'll kind of find a good, better, best type practice. We're going to be talking about ease of use, durability and safety, as well as comfort, which you wouldn't think when it comes to wheel chocks, and give you what we've experienced through our purchases that we've made. Hopefully, let you skip a couple steps. I'm also going to be comparing these to washing your hands, just to give you a real life comparison, because I felt like it, and I can. The first chalk we're gonna talk about are these urethane wheel chalks. Plastic, durable, consistent, available just about everywhere. I would equate them to washing your hands with soap, but not for two happy birthdays. Trying your hands off with a little bit of a flick, maybe rubbing the rest of the water off on your pants, grabbing the door handle and heading on your way. Does it count? Absolutely, you wash your hands. Is it a best practice to be in? Probably not. So a few of our concerns are that, one, these will have wheel size limitations as well as weight limitations. Now, with your trailer, I don't think the wheel size limitation is going to be huge. Depending on the size of your chalk, that will depend on how big your wheel can be. So take that into consideration, and if they do have guidelines when purchasing them, make sure you read them carefully. Now with these, they're generally used for light trailers, but you can use them on any type of trailer. But with your heavier, let's say a large fifth wheel, I would think twice before purchasing something like this, just on the off chance that it would be overweight, your trailer overweight for this type of chalk, and would leave you with concerns of, okay, if this gained any momentum, could it just roll over this thing and smash it into a little orange pancake? not something you want, and not even if there's the slightest chance. Other things I don't love about these types of chocks, one, they can sometimes get wedged underneath the wheel and they're difficult to pull out. Now, there is a tiny little hole where you can add a rope, but it's pretty small and I feel like that would end up not being, not being comfortable enough for me to want to use it on a regular basis. Also, on the very bottom of the chalk, there is no rubber strip here. Having a rubber strip is going to provide a level of grip that you don't get with just plastic. So these can slide. And if they slide enough that it creates a little bit of wiggle room with your wheels, you might be able to feel that when walking around in your trailer. If you go to the very front, to the back, you might find that your rig moves just a little bit and that just gets uncomfortable over time. Then you gotta go outside, kick the thing under the wheel, and that's an extra step just for you to be able to enjoy your time camping. And the whole point of going camping is to go have some fun. Overall, these get a rating of good. They're good because you can get them just about anywhere. They're going to do the job for the most part. Maybe not to be trusted with heavy rigs or maybe on a steep slope, but for 99% of situations, they're perfectly fine. 
The next type of chalk that I want to talk about are these giant honkin' rubber wheel chalks that we've purchased to replace our urethane chalks. Now, I would equate these to a very solid hand washing. You start with the warm water, use plenty of soap, lather up, and sing happy birthday to yourself twice with a smile. At the end, you dry your hands thoroughly, grab the door handle, and go about your merry way. These are solid few things that we like about them. One, I like that they have a bit of height to them. They aren't going to be limited by wheel size, although our trailer wheels are not gigantic by any means. They have a really great handle, so when it comes to ease of use, they're very easy to place and remove. Three, they've got a great rubber bottom, and this prevents any slippage when you're moving around your rig. They aren't going to create a big gap between the chalk and the wheel, so you're not going to get as much rocking back and forth when going from the front of your rig towards the back. Overall, I don't really have many complaints. They did kind of smell funny when they came from Amazon. These came in a two pack, and that would be one small concern, but that went away after just a couple of days. Overall, these are fantastic. I'm not worried about them being crushed by our rig if it was to start to roll because it is made of a very solid construction. These make me trust that we are going to be going nowhere, even if we were on a little bit of a grade. And you know what, when it comes to safety, these were maybe 15 bucks for a two pack. Spending an extra couple of dollars for that kind of peace of mind is totally worth it to us. One other downside of these that I really didn't talk about with the urethane chalk is they are a bit bulkier, so they are going to take up a little bit more storage space, but it's not a drastic difference. It's not like there's, like, it takes up three times as much space. Instead, it just will be a little bit more bulky when you're putting it inside of your rig. And if you're limited on external storage like we are in our Airstream, that may be a slight concern, but again, Peace of mind, people. Let's purchase that and feel good about where we park our rig. The final rating for these suckers is better. Definitely better than what we had with our urethane wheel chunks. That's why we purchased them to replace them, but not the best. I'm gonna just bother you for one second. If you find that this information is useful, you can make a huge difference by hitting the like button right down below where I am on this video. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, I'd also really appreciate that. That encourages me to like your video. I mean, it was kind of helpful, but dislike, uh, he tries online and figuring out what we want to do with our rig that I, I just have to pay it forward. So thanks again for just watching. If you could hit the like button or subscribe, that would be much appreciated. This is an X-Chalk. This is used not by itself, but in tandem with our rubber wheel chalks. It is not a replacement. But these things rock. The hand washing equivalent is this, and I'm excited about this. You step up to the sink and you find the perfect temperature of water. You wash your hands with an antibacterial soap while singing happy birthday to yourself twice. You then dry your hands with a paper towel, then using that same paper towel to be able to open up the doorknob. You crumple up that paper towel, you throw it over your shoulder, and get a perfect swish into the trash can. You then take out a small thing of hand sanitizer that is gently scented, spray some into your hands, rub your hands together, and think, man, my hands are clean. So. Things to know about these x trucks One, they are a little bit more on the expensive side. That is a downside. They only work with trailers that have more than one axle. So we're a dual axle trailer. We place this in between our two sets of wheels, and then you crank it with a little ratcheting wrench that comes with the x trucks to be able to expand them and put pressure on both wheels to ensure that they're not going to roll. Now, we love these things. We love them because they instill us with more confidence that we're not going to be moving anywhere. And when it comes to comfort, there is zero wiggle room inside this trailer when these are fully deployed. We have one on each side of our rig and I love them. 
if you're looking for the ultimate in comfort, something that's going to add just a little bit of an edge to be able to make you happier inside your rig when you're parked and camping, this is one of them. Now, downside. Downside is they can't be used by themselves. So this is not a replacement. So not only are you going to have to purchase rubber wheel chocks or the urethane ones, if that's what you choose to do, but this is an added purchase. They're also not super cheap. So when you're budgeting, if you have the option to add these on at the beginning, or maybe you have been camping for a while and you're thinking of making some kind of upgrade to make yourself happier inside of your trailer, these would be a great purchase. I hope this has been helpful, at least going over some of the different types of wheeled shocks so you know what you're getting yourself into if you're new to RVing or if you're just looking to make an upgrade. If you're looking for any of these types of chocks, they're all available on Amazon. I'll provide links in the description below just so you can go find them and take a look, see what you think. And other places you can find them, these urethane chocks, you can find these at any of your local RV locations. If they sell RV supplies, they're gonna have something just like this. I also found a bunch of sets of urethane chocks at Walmart. We have an RV section at our Walmart because we're in Florida and we have tons of RVs who come down during the winter, but you can also find them in the automotive section as well. All sorts of different shapes, sizes, colors, you name it. Rubber chocks. These we purchased on Amazon because they were the ones that we thought looked the best and we trusted and had a really solid handle so it's easy to take them in and out. So we got these on Amazon, but you can find rubber chocks at your local RV supply store as well. I was not able to find any of these rubber chocks at a store like Walmart, but yours may differ from ours. I just mentioned that because if you are thinking of getting a set of these and you want them for your trailer that you're picking up in a couple of days, order these on Amazon, get it prime shipped to you so you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> X chocks. These you can get on Amazon, like I said before, but we bought ours at our local RV supply store because we bought them when we picked up our rig. If you know you're gonna want them, prime shipping. I'm a bit of an Amazon addict, so that's what I would do if I had to do it all over again. I think it would also save me up to 20 bucks. So again, link is below. They have sets of these. Definitely buy a set if you're going to buy them so you can put one on each side of your trailer. And I promise you, you won't regret it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I found this information so useful when I started purchasing my RV, I just had to pay it forward. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're getting into RVing and you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, you can leave those too, just saying, hey, I'd appreciate that. Have a wonderful day and best of luck on your new journey up when you're getting to a campsite and the last thing that you take care of when you leave because it's so important to no, no, no. Holy <sighs> I'm just kidding guys we had it hooked up to the truck the whole time but it was kind of exciting to do and I swear to god I almost pooped my pants being right next to the trailer it was moving if you've made it this far you've made it to the secret content section Okay, maybe not, but you do have one last chance to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, you can always unsubscribe if you don't like what you're seeing. You can also check out another one of our videos in our picks or whatever YouTube thinks you're going to like. Thanks again.